back. This is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and this is the second project for Change of Scenery. I just love this kit. Um, this is one kit of a bundle of kits, but I didn't buy the bundle. You can purchase them one at a time. And the only change I did here was I used a wood look paper from our mix-in for this month, uh, this present catalog. So I'm here are my leftover stickers, and I've also cut cut my pieces out. So here they are, and let me move my. These are the instructions. So when you go to order the kit, it says download guide, and you can go ahead now. I printed it so that it was two pages per piece of paper, so I didn't use quite so much paper. Um, of course, it makes it a little annoying to read and see detail, but um, anyway, you can either do it one page or two pages per per sheet. It's up to you. So um, the wood look is from the mix-ins, like I said, for that is in this particular uh, three-month catalog. And uh, I just really wanted some wood look paper on the woodland type layout I'm just made sense to me so I also am using the little sunburst zip strips from a couple of the pages because uh, they were just so cute and so I have them upside down but they'll eventually end up right side up um, never fear so I mostly cut everything according to the instructions but then I did do some of the changes so uh, this is a strip. There was a lot of ripping once again on this particular, on the second layout. And I'm taking the, I think that's probably about a two inch strip of pine. I'm using the dark side and I'm doing a, like a one inch strip that I've ripped and putting it along the bottom. So that's going to be my bottom piece. So here is the zip strip. Those are half inch pieces. I did not do a rip on that. Um, well, I am having the sun shine down. That's what I am doing. I guess if it was on the bottom, then I would have it go the other direction. Details. <laughs> so um, Anyway, there's a lot of a lot of ripping, but the half inch is really kind of difficult to rip on it. Um, it would be easier with the zip strip than it was with a sticker, but um, I just decided to go with the little strip as it is. So here's my this the uh, wood. This is also a burlap. Uh, look like came with this particular kit, but it's a finer burlap. <clears throat> so it doesn't completely match uh, the burlap side of the paper from the kit. But I really love the rustic wood. And I'm just going to go ahead and that is going to get tucked under, <coughs> excuse me, the stamp is going to get tucked underneath. I need to put the stamp upright though. <clears throat> Excuse me, I still have a cough from bronchitis in April. Oi, enough already. So I'm going to tuck that under and stick it down, and then I'll put the uh, ripped top piece up there. And I'm also going to tuck that under the uh, ripped pine, pine strip. So that's how it's going to look. And I've got a little bit of overage. No problem. Get out your microtip scissors and just, you can cut the finest little piece, a hairline piece of paper off the, uh, off of your card or your scrapbook page, whatever, whatever you've got. And, you know, I tell you all the time that these microtip scissors are really sharp. <laughs> One of the, <coughs> excuse me, consultants um, dropped hers on the floor and it happened to be a wooden floor and one side one blade stuck straight into the floor <clears throat> and the scissors stood up so that's how sharp they are 
When I tell you these are sharp, they're sharp, and so you have to be careful with them. It's not a scissor, even though they're small, it's not a scissor that you want to give to um, any children. So I'm just matching this side by side so the paper can go, and you see how the paper matches. That way that was uh, luck on my part. And I am going to flip these pages around eventually, but you'll see. You'll see what I do later on. Anyway, it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference whether which side is there, whether it's the stamps or the wood. So there we go. There's that in place, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the tops in place. And so this is a pretty easy to follow and easy to do layout. You know, it's you know symmetrical. You know, both sides of each page is the same, so you know not not a totally different look on, on the other page. Um, and you know, that's how, that's how I'm rolling with this, this time. I don't, I, I like having two of the pages be different on both sides, but I'm going with this. Um, and for, for a good reason, there's going to be a pine strip going down the center of each page. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna run uh, some three by fours um, down the strip, so it's kind of like that's that's their little frame, you know. And I I kind of change my mind. I kind of do the three by fours, maybe add a four by six. You could do uh, you could totally do two four by sixes running down there, um, running down the center. If you want, um, I would make the the width of the of the uh, pine strip a little wider, just to show the a little bit more of the um, edge of the picture. So that is what I'm going to. Um, that's kind of the general idea of this layout, and so we've got a nice little journaling log there and so I'm going to I'm gonna put that down this is a decision problem here did I miss okay so somehow I missed putting those down there too much thinking involved and I forgot to put the recorder on so I put the Out in Nature sticker up with some of the um, die cuts and a sticker of a fern with a um, little star die cut and my little tag for putting the date on there. So I've got the three 3x4s three and a 4x6 four and a 4x4. Four four. And then the journaling uh, log is going down in the corner with the two pretty um, dark green pines. So, But then I decide I want to change things around. So I have the out in nature that way. Then I'm going to flip it around so that I can add a bigger title. I like out in nature, but it just, I wanted something a little bit bolder. And so I hadn't used this away title. So it says essentially away out in nature. So I'm going to put it down and it's kind of hard to tell. You know, I can see much better when when I'm playing the video on the computer screen, then it's like, oh, that's exactly where that should go. But sometimes when I'm just making the videos, I don't exactly see uh, how things need to go. I don't, I don't have the same kind of artistic eye that a lot of um, people do, but you know, I still come out with something that, you know, I'm, I'm okay with. I just, I'm putting these trees down on the lower corner. So we have something at each corner, each diagonal corner. Um, so I took the, I put a little bit of the anti-static powder on the tips of the trees. Of course, then you've got a mix of powder all over the place. So I needed to wipe that off with a little damp um, baby wipe. And so I'm tucking a couple of the trunks under and one on top and uh, I put that there. So I, I like the way this looks better. And I'm just going to add some of these stars because I'm kind of pretending we're out under the stars. That's Daisy. 
coming to say hello. So I'm just putting some little stars around because you're definitely going to see the stars more in, when you're out in the wilderness uh, than you do in the middle of suburbia. So um, the away kind of looks lonely without having any little things around it too. So I like my little journaling thing there. And I love those really dark green die cuts that came off of that little bitty sheet. So I'm going to go searching for some of the other die cuts from these three sheets that came with this kit. So I'm going to pull some of the stars off and some of the hearts and uh, put a little liquid Tombow on them. And I'm um, just checking to see if they're, yeah, they're white on the bottom. So I want to the green ones are green through and through, so they're green on the back and green on the front. Kind of hard to tell one from one side from the other uh, when it comes to the trees and the stars and what have you. But anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull some of the little th I do like that C. It kind of needs to be used. Of course, I like that view up there, too. So I think I put it down. I forget to stick it, but that's okay. Always time to stick later on. So I've got star and heart. Little bitty. I'm going to get my glue, and I'm also going to get a star that has an outline star. So I'm just going to add a little bit more embellishments uh, to this layout. And I... So I, I just like adding, seeing a little bit more embellishments kind of doesn't, the titles or the trees or whatever, they look like they need something to kind of hang with them, you know. So they're, uh, that's what these little embellishments are for, is to just add a little bit of um, pizzazz to, to uh, the lone thing, whether it's the trees or the title. So we're going to put... Some of the glue is showing, but that'll dry clear and it'll be fine. Just going to take some of the glue off of it by tapping it on there. I was going to kind of overlap, but I don't like the way that looks, so I'm just going to put it down there. And then we've got this little heart, and it's so cute, but it's such a dark green that it really sticks out. So I'm putting it up there. And another little star right there in the curve. So it was like they really needed a little place to hang out. So I'm going to put another dark star there and a little would look heart. Yeah, that was a temptation. There we go. So we're sharing hearts and stars. So I'm happy. I'm happier now with that than I was um, the way it was before. So it just has a little bit more oomph to it. So there we go. I hope you like it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe and let me know what you think. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks, bye-bye.